Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to write a simple program to convert text to speech using your Visual Basic Windows Form application. This will be a very basic of uh, converting text to speech but later on you can build upon this application and make your um, bigger application using this. So what I will do is I will take a button from here and I will take a text box and I will change the text of this button as speak okay and now I will select this button and double click it and in here I will declare a dim object variable and I will name it as sappy as object and now I will use this sappy object to create an object is equal to create object and in the bracket I will pass a string so write double quote and write sappy dot sp voice okay and in the next line I will write sappy which is my object dot speak and inside this I will copy the name of my text box which is text box one dot text okay so when I run my program now and when I enter some text inside this uh, text box so for example I will write text to speech and when I click this button it will give me the output as a voice I don't know if you can hear it but let me so it converts the text to speech uh, application uh, it's a demo of text to speech application and it's a very simple demo and you must be wondering what this sappy is and what is this sp voice so when you go to your browser and just write here sappy visual basic you will be able to see some links of microsoft so sappy is a uh, project from Microsoft which convert text to speech and it has lot of uh, capabilities you can make a full fledged text to speech uh, converter from this application you can increase the volume you can pause the the voice you can uh, make your the reading faster and many other application you can make with this sappy object so if you want to learn more just go to this page and you will be able to see many more code and many samples from here also so this was just the basic which I want to show you here and I wanted to show you that this is the capability and the, this thing also exists in visual basic .net. So I hope you will build upon this application and make uh, use in your project. So let's, that's it for this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.